Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins, and I recently did a popular video entitled The Top 5 Popular Drugs That Cause Massive Health Problems. And you can view that entire video at the end of today's video, or by visiting the description area below this video where I posted the direct link. However, in today's short topic, I'm going to focus on just one of the most popular drugs that cause tons of long-term harm to your health. Now, one drug is called prednisone, which is a corticosteroid, basically a catabolic steroid related to cortisol, which I'm sure you've heard about. It's the stress hormone. Now, this is the exact opposite of an anabolic steroid that, you know, athletes take to gain muscle and strength and lose fat. So logically speaking, you can deduce that prednisone, therefore, causes the opposite effects. It causes muscle loss strength loss and actually causes massive fat gain, especially belly fat. But it doesn't stop there. It also causes poor sleep. It causes increased blood sugar and potentially diabetes, osteoporosis and weaker bones, liver and kidney problems, eye problems, memory problems, depression and mental illness, anxiety, and decreased immune system. And basically the list goes on and on. Simply stated, prednisone is stress in a bottle. So why is such a toxic drug used so often? Well, the short term is it's a powerful anti-inflammatory, which is very important if you have some horrible allergic reaction or have some breathing problems like you know asthma. It can literally save your life. As horrible as cortisol, that stress hormone is, without it, you and I would die. So it's that powerful and that important in small amounts. It's important to know that prednisone helps with pain that's again linked to inflammation. But these days they prescribe you know prednisone for lots of things and it's ongoing long term, which is not what you want, which is not what the drug was intended for. You obviously don't want to be swallowing quote unquote stress all day, week after week, month after month. It'll destroy your health. And as the saying goes, stress kills. It's it's fine to, again, occasionally use for short term, again, to really just to get you through that, you know, that, that life-saving moment. However, it's much better to deal with the main problem, which is inflammation. So I'll end today's topic by asking if you've taken this drug or know someone who has and what kind of negative side effects have you noticed? Please leave your comments below and let me know what other drugs you'd like me to discuss in future topics. Either way, there are always natural solutions, and I've listed them below in the description area. So while it's fresh on your mind, take a look and take action. Make sure you're also subscribed to this channel if you aren't already, and click that notification icon so you'll be notified when similar videos are released. And don't forget, you can also watch that entire original video, the top five popular drugs that cause massive health problems, by clicking on it. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch and listen to my videos, and I wish you a very happy and healthy day.